All right, so today I managed to come across another quite large lot of magic cards I found locally on Facebook Marketplace. This is around uh, 10 to 11,000 cards. Let's see here. I paid 200 Canadian dollars for this. Um, not look, expecting to find anything huge in here. Uh, basically, the person said that uh, they used to play and they sold all of the expensive stuff and this is what they have left over. Uh, they said that they basically haven't looked at this in about three years, which, if that's true, then hopefully we could find some cool commons and uncommons, something like that. Maybe I need to raise the camera a little bit here. So we'll start off looking through some of the stuff in this box here. I just took a very quick glance through some of these things. Like, uh, for, for what I paid... Just for the sheer quantity of cards, even if there's nothing in here, then it's fine. Uh, just the bulk, you know, the bulk pricing is okay for that. But I feel like we should be able to find some some decent uh, commons and uncommons anyway. I think this box is all just basic lands. That's what it looks to be. I'm not going to look through this entire box here on camera, but I'm just going to assume this is all basic lands. I'm going to look through that off camera later. A couple of boxes like this. It looks like there's some kind of low-powered decks in here. Took a look through this one already. There was, you know, nothing too interesting. Got some full art lands. Those things are quite plentiful these days, though. Some Ixalan stuff, rivals. Oh, well, Tepic Huntmaster actually is not terrible. I'll take that out. Another one there. Kinjali's collar is all right too, but that's just a common. Empty deck box. Another empty deck box. Something in here. I think this is Dominaria stuff. So the, uh, the person said this is uh, Drawyer's Familiar's all right, actually. I'll put that here. So that the the cards in this lot here range from Revised to Dominaria. So there could be something interesting. See, there are some uh, little stack of plane chase cards here. There's a giant Mimeoplasm, so Commander 2013, is that going to be the whole set there? I'm not sure, like when I come across things like this, I don't even know what to do with them, I just have a stack of them, and like most stores don't even want these things, but they're here anyway. <laughs> Some more empty boxes, Tezzeret, this one has something in it, Nicol Bolas. More Dominaria stuff. Rat Colony. That's pretty good, actually. There's a... Wait, there's a whole Rat Colony deck? This is pretty interesting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine Rat Colonies. A couple Eldest Reborn. That's pretty cool. Rat Colony is, you know, a couple bucks each, something like that. So that's kind of the stuff that I'm looking to find in here. And especially since the person said uh, that they hadn't looked at it in three years. You know, three years is quite a while to go by for random commons and uncommons that were worthless at some point or bulk priced to actually start to have value. Things like this, where when it came out, it was just bulk. But this is uh, actually pretty good on common now. I don't know what's that at the moment. Maybe like, I'm going to assume three bucks or so. A couple of Merfolk Mistbinders. Those are all right, but the the vampire uh, one, the vampire one that's just like it from uh, Rivals, is seems to have more value. I guess this is like a Merfolk deck here. Some more random. Uh, I always like this island. Some more random full art lands there. Lots more sleeves. Looks like they're all Dragon Shield, which is nice. 
And also, if you're interested in possibly purchasing any Dragon Shield supplies, I do have affiliate links in the video description of pretty much all my videos. If you follow those links and make any purchases from Dragon Shield, it'll help out the channel by giving me a small commission. I do always tend to prefer going with Dragon Shield for supplies. Some M19 stuff here. I wonder if we'll find Stitcher's supplier in this, potentially. I think that's from M19, isn't it? That would be cool. I like this swamp. Uh, this swamp actually is what I use for my draft lands. Like, I have a draft kit where I bring it to Friday Night Magic where I have a bunch of each basic land, sleeves, dice, those kinds of things, and I chose this art of swamp for all of the swamps I use for that. Oh, we got some Death Barons. That's cool. My promo walk the plank. Death Baron's actually a pretty decent rare. Empty box. Empty box. Empty box. Another empty box. Okay, let's look at some of these fat packs then. They said also... There's around 500 rare slash mythic slash foil cards. I don't know where those would be. Um, I'm assuming most of those are going to end up being like bulk foils, basically. Probably a lot of foil basic lands and things like that. But, I don't know, there could be something cool. Looks like these are organized by set, which is nice. Could help me if I'm looking for any particular... Commons and uncommons, or perhaps they're not actually. Uh, maybe it's not organized like that. So this is a box of white cards anyway. Never mind, some blue cards as well. We got some old school stuff here, Fallen Empires. Hunting from Exodus. Spreading Seas, that is a, it's a card that actually has some value, I believe. It's cool to find some old school stuff in here. So I'm seeing lots of rivals of Ixalan. So I did. I bought a bot like this. Uh, bought a lot like this a while ago, where I ended up finding, I believe, uh, something like eleven, or maybe even more pitiless plunderers. I wonder if we might actually find some of those in this lot too, because that's from Rivals. It's an uncommon that, when it came out, it was pretty much bulk priced. Now it's you know upwards of like fifteen dollars. Dramatic reversal is a good common. Gonna leave these Fallen Empires cards over here. There's spreading seas there, that's cool. Winged sliver, old school. Yeah, I'll take that out. Oh, look at this. A, wait, is it? Yeah, a super beat to crap counter spell. However, I believe this is alpha. It's either alpha or it's beta that's just so played that the corners are gone, but I think this is an alpha counter spell. I'm going to have to check this to make sure that it's real. I do have a jeweler's loop now. But upon first inspection, it does feel real to me. I'm going to, you know, I'm just going to leave this off to the side. And I'll inspect that one after. I have had experiences documented in the past 
on my channel of getting excited about cards, old cards that did have value and they turned out to be fake. So I'm going to hold judgment on this one and take a closer look at it after. But if it's if it's real, that'll be sweet. Here's a... Uh, Beta? No, not one of the Not beta. Uh, unlimited? This, this isn't unlimited, is it? It's either unlimited or revised. Anyway, once again, I'll take that out. It's still hard for me sometimes to tell the difference between unlimited and revised. Um, I would be looking for the extra border around here. Also, the centering of this. I just can't remember exactly how the centering of that is, but uh, we'll take that out. Spreading seeds. All right, so there wasn't really a whole lot else in that box, but we did find some actual pretty cool stuff in here. You know, some spreading seeds. Some potential big hits. Got to verify the authenticity of those, though. Some stuff in the side here. That was difficult to get out. We have some Return to Ravnica Red Uncommons, which means I'll be looking for a Vandal Blast here, which will be pretty sweet. Forerunner is not terrible. I believe it's the most popular of the Forerunners, but uh, this Reckless Rage is one that has a bit of value now. Pirate's Pillage did, but it got reprinted at Common in Double Masters 2 just recently. I usually take out interesting slivers like this. This one's uncommon anyway. There we go. Old school goblin ring leader is pretty cool. There's some M14 young pyromancers. Once again, this has been reprinted a bunch of times, but still worth taking out. That was a big uncommon for a while. Goblin grenade's pretty good. Flame of Keld. Pretty decent card, actually. Yeah, we'll take that out. I don't think it has much value, but it's one that has potential. Original Abraid. That was a big uncommon and standard. A ton of morale. Interesting. Some random foils here. I'll probably just separate those. Oh, more chief. That card's all right. Another flame of Keld. More braids there. They're not even really worth taking out at this point. They've been reprinted at common before. Black Force is a pretty decent uncommon, actually. I believe that has a bit of value. Yeah, some more Pirates Pillages and Reckless Rages. That gives me quite a lot of hope for finding Pitiless Plunderers once we get to the Black section. I always think this card's quite interesting, Active Aggression, simply because it's an instant speed threat and effect. Those are quite rare to find. Yeah, it costs five. It can potentially cost three, you know, if you pay the Phyroxian mana, but... Instant speed threat and effect is can be quite powerful. Oh, Sylvan Scrying. Old school squirrel nest. That's cool, I'll take that out just because I like it. Colossal Majesty has a little bit of value.
Got some more Colossal Majesties there. That's pretty decent. Ranging Raptors definitely played in the Gishath deck. Sixth Sense is kind of cool too. Your Mana Web Sliver. That is one of the good slivers. Oak we'll Place out of it there. Acidic Slime, my number one favorite card. Oh, nice Abontu's Monument. That's a that's a very good uncommon. It's a Hazaret's monument there too. I'll take it out, but it's no Bonti's monument. Ronos is, is a, a good monument as well. So we're finding pretty much exactly the kind of thing that I was hoping to find. It's random uncommons like that that have become valuable. Some new Phyrexia, many of you we could find uh, Triumph of the Hordes or Noxious Revival, that would be cool. Halifax Resurgence did spike up a little bit when uh, Werewolves came back in Innistrad Midnight Hunt, but I don't think it's really anything anymore, but I'll take that out. Old School Thin Hornells, another Squirrel Nest. I found so many of these in uh, the other lot that I bought. That was all old cards. Thin Horn Elves. I think Ver Viridian Revel is one that went up recently, I think. I don't know if it still is worth anything, but pretty sure it was at one point. Maybe this, I don't know. We'll check it. Some more Avacyn Restored cards here. I guess in that would be looking for like Blood Artist. Those are favorable wins. Uh, yeah, I'll take that out. Corrupted Conscience here. It's a bit of value. Uh, ghostly Flicker is a common I'd be looking for. I don't know if I went past any of it already, but keep an eye out for that one. A Curious Obsession, that's good. Uh, not sure on Tezzeret's Gambit. We'll check it. Charter Course was big and standard. I don't think it's really much anymore. Hey, Tetsuko Umezawa. That's a pretty good uncommon from Dominaria. Seems interesting. Mana Breach. I'm not familiar with this card, but that's an interesting effect. That's <laughs> a foil, another curious obsession. There's a revised uh, mountain there. Windfall, there's a good uncommon. Or Tetsuko. I usually take out more Folk Trickster. I don't know if it really has much value anymore, but whatever, we'll take it out. Same with Chart, of course. Mem Knight. It's actually got a bit of value now. Oh, nice, an Umbral Mantle. Some pretty good uh, artifacts here. Throne of Geth. I'll take it out. It's not so big anymore since it got reprinted in Double Masters 1. Couple damping spheres there. It's 
more random foils. It's actually a pretty decent amount of uh, good stuff in that box. We've got three, six, nine of these things left. And then the giant uh, 5,000, looks like more than 5,000 count box. This might have to be another one of the videos that uh, comes in two parts. Uh, swords to plowshares. It's cool. Angelica Cord is a that's a good uncommon for M14 there. Some more slivers. Nice, another Bontus on an Oketra's Monument. Hazarets, Kefnets, uh, there's no uh, Ronosses. Some more Damping Spear, nice. Uh, actually, that Pillar of Origins, I think, is a bit of value. Here's a dead iron sledge with a big crease going through it. <laughs> there we go, here's some more Ronos's monument. So Ketra's monument, Bontu's monument, awesome. I'll just take out all the monuments there. Switchwood boots. Tormod, uh, it does have a little bit of value. I'll take it out, but... Oh, we printed in M21, I think. Or is it M19? Can't remember. Plague Mirror. Ronos's Monument. Thank you for the Etherborn. That one's okay. Stitcher Supplier. Member, it's pretty cool. The original one there. Yargle. Play set of Yargles. For your, uh, I feel like we'll probably find some final partings. There's Diabolic Tutor. Since that's an uncommon from Dominaria, there seems to be pretty much everything else. In terms of uncommons from Dominaria. Foil Yargle, no way. Taking that out. Really honest to feed. It's cool. Some more random foils here. Quite a few of them. Okay, so this looks like probably the rare slash foil box. I was wondering when we were going to find some of those, because there are a couple scattered throughout, but when the person said there were 500 rare slash foils, then I figured there would be a big chunk of them somewhere, so it's probably this box. This would be about 500 cards. There's a venerated loxodon with a big binder ding in it there. It's not really worth anything anyway. Lots of nightmares, wow. Grim Return. It might be at least buy listable. I'll just leave it here. Let's probably take all of it. Well, let's see if this box is actually going to be all rares and foils. Yeah, it looks like it. So I will separate what I think are better rares, Drowned Secrets being one of them. Uh, 
Oh, that's cool. Old school one. I'll just take that out because I like it. Oh, Herald of Secret Streams isn't bad. Marari. Another old one. Narcomiba Drowned Secrets. This thing. More Kite Marauder, maybe. Foil adorned bouncer. Yeah, it's a cat. People like cats, right? Hey, Radiant Destiny. Ah, it's probably nothing. <laughs> it's have value at one point. Scram. Rattle Trained. It's played in a deck anyway. Current Temporal Sundering is actually a pretty good card. Were Blue Suns. And there's a hole. And pull from tomorrow. Dig through time. Some okay stuff. I like Urza's Ruinous Blast is actually a pretty good card. And cleansing move. Uh, ah, probably not. Real Caracol once again because people like cats. There's an old goblin. Take that out because it's a goblin that I don't have. But I have it now. The profane procession is kind of decent. Hostage Taker, and hey, Mirage Mirror, that one's alright. Two of them. Dragon's Horde. A <laughs> hollow one. Sure. I got a few mythics here. Watley. Cool to see some planeswalkers. Sexy Jace. Looks like he's having trouble seeing the Jaya. So a lot of these kind of things have been reprinted in commander decks. This, uh, this one might be alright. There's a Tezzeret from the Planeswalker deck, I believe. A Weatherlight, which is now completed. It's another old rare. Wood Club. The Admiral Beckett Brass. That one's okay. Glory Bringer, nice. I play that in my Pioneer deck. I like it a lot. Sunbirds did have some value, got reprinted in a commander deck. Same with Tali, it's been reprinted so many times. You know, Dusk is all right. Our Promise. Good with uh, deserts, right? You know what's a desert? Hey, I, I like this card so much. Sandworm Convergence. World Shape is pretty good, too. I see one that's pretty decent here. Shaper Sanctuary. Pretty great sideboard card. Elephant Resurgence. Hmm. 
Murrows and Rocks is another Shaper Sanctuary. Another Arrow of Promise. Need for Speed. Some good uh, red stuff. Not really worth anything anymore, but uh, it was definitely played in standard chain whirler. So yeah, that whole box was rare spoils and mythics. Found a couple of decent ones. I'll just leave these all out here, I guess. I got tokens. Uh, there could be some good tokens, actually. Not from Rivals, is that the Perry Emblem? This is a probably a rare one. I don't know if it has much value though. Uh, I'm not sure if Silent Knight with Vigilance. I, I think I just don't have one of those, so I'll take it out to put in my binder. And Bolas. Look at that beast. This insect might be alright. It's made by the locust god. All these eternalized things. A horse. Uh, a horse might be pretty good. More insects. When I say whenever I see this gremlin, I think it's Ragavan, because the Ragavan token is pretty decent. So we're back to commons and uncommons. Yeah, absolutely nothing in that box. Some multicolored cards. I wonder what we could find in here. Lots of bulk stuff from Dragon's Maze. Ravenous Chupacabra, and right there, a couple of Piteous Plunderers. I was so certain this was going to be reprinted in Double Masters 2, but it wasn't. It's very surprising. Uh, so we got some foils, we'll put those here, and then there's this Artisan of Kozilek. Kozilek, uh, some of those random uncommon Eldrazi actually have a bit of value. Is Quartz Harvester any good? It's a kind of cool effect. I'll take that out because I like it. Uh, Pale's Plunderer. It's pretty sweet. Usually take out arterial flow, there's stitches supplier. <laughs> Fatal push. Kinda of surprised to see that in there. Cause that was a big uncommon when it was brand new. That was probably like there's there's a uncommon where you know the price was highest when it first came out, I think. It's been reprinted a few times and sort of fallen out of favor a little bit. There we go, final parting. That one's okay. Johnny's Welcome, I think, is a pretty good uncommon.
Okay, so I'm about halfway through the lot, maybe a little bit less, but uh, looked through quite a bit of it, and I think we're going to do the rest in another video, so I'll do a little recap of what I found so far. Uh, I did take a moment to look closer at these two cards. Uh, I did a light test as well as I have a jeweler's loop, so I did the green dot test on these, and I can confidently say that these cards are real. So we have an alpha counter spell and an unlimited counter spell. Unlimited is cool, you know, it's uh, if it was in good condition, it'd be like 50 bucks or something. Alpha, though, yes, this is quite heavily played, but despite that, even in condition like this, this is like something like an $800 card. If this was near mint, you'd be looking at $2,000 plus. Um, so that's a really cool surprise. <laughs> and so, yeah, I verified the authenticity, but even uh, going beyond that, uh, like looking at something like uh, this was not advertised within the lot at all. It was just randomly in this box full of other counter spells and things like that. Um, yeah, I believe this is real, so that's pretty awesome. Found some other cool stuff. This whole stack of cards here is rares. These are pretty much all bulk rares. Uh, some more bulk rares and foils here. There's a stack of bulk mythics. Uh, there's some okay rares also. Nothing huge in here, but some decent ones. You know, Mirage Mirror, Shaper Sanctuary, Beckett Press, these kinds of things. You know, some some decent ones. Uh, we did find some really good uncommons, though. So here's a a stack of, you know, uncommons that are basically not bulk. Like, they could be anywhere from, uh, you know, like 50 cents to a couple of bucks each. They have value. You can buy list these, so that's cool. But then I have a stack here of ones that are uh, actually quite good. So we found Pitya's Plunderer. This is, you know, $10, $15 uncommon. Three of those. Uh, place out of Pontu's Monument place set of Ronos's monument, actually five of them, no, is it four? We have four of them there, place out of that. Oketra's monument, some mana weft slivers, spreading seas, reckless rage, a couple by force, some curious obsessions, uh, a couple of stitches supplier, Tetsuko Umezawa fugitive, damping sphere, and electric accord, and then some one of cards here. So we got Memnite, Umbral Mantle, Swift Foot Boots, Dismember, Swords of Plow Sears, Woodfall, Eternal Witness, Fatal Push, couple of Tat Yovas, three of them there. Swarmer folk. This was cool. Looks like there was a, uh, a Rat Colony deck. Uh, I'm not sure what format it was, but uh, we've got, what, three, six, nine Rat Colonies. And then also, check out this Foil Yargle. That's pretty sweet, right? So, uh, yes, uh, I'm quite happy with this lot. Like I said earlier, I paid 200 Canadian dollars for this and uh, found some, some pretty cool stuff. So we're going to continue looking through this in uh, another video. I'll try to provide a link to that when that's available. And uh, we'll do another little recap after that. So if you're still watching, thanks for watching. It'd be cool if you can like and subscribe and all that kind of stuff. I'd encourage everyone to come join my Discord server. You can find a link to that in the video description below. And in the video description, you'll also find my affiliate links for Dragon Shield. In case you'd like to purchase any gaming supplies, you can help with the channel while you do so. I'd also just like to take a moment to thank all the patrons who support me on Patreon. But otherwise, though, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later.